50 crews rose off the line today in Lordstown. Production is ending at the plant after more than 50 years. And with the loss of more than 1,400 jobs for that city, a big question is what's next for those workers and really the community as a whole. Jesse Schultz live in Lordstown for us this morning. Jesse, uh, we do know some of those workers have already taken other jobs with GM. Yeah, GM says about 420 of the workers have accepted positions at other GM plants, but that still leaves about a thousand people here wondering what's next, not just for themselves, but the town as a whole. Today really marks the end of an era. This Lordstown plant has been rolling out cars since 1966. Many of the workers have been loyal to this plant for decades. And even if you aren't a worker, the whole town seems to be grieving the loss of it. Since the announcement of the closure in November, friends, strangers and community members have been committed to protesting outside the plant, asking GM to reconsider. They say they won't stop until those doors officially close and the assembly lines officially stop. I have faith that Lordstown can rise again. I have faith that we will, that they'll come through for us, that, that family will matter and our community will matter and that they will, they will give us a product. This Lordstown plant is the first of four U.S. plants that GM plans to close. And despite pushback from political leaders, GM claims that this is the company's best option. Live in Lordstown, Jesse Schultz, News 5. It's a story we'll be following all day. Okay, Jesse, 